you have here 21 people. They are highly motivated to be the best of the world. Just recently we've had a large earthquake in Christchurch and uh, plumbers and drain layers have been very much in demand because that was the essential service that everybody lost during the earthquake. So we've got about five years of rebuilding a city but the first thing that has to happen is that all the water, gas and sewage is all repaired first as it was all damaged. So yeah, it's been pretty unpleasant back in New Zealand. So. The, the main difference between this skill and most of the other skills is that we have numbers wise. We have competitors from 30 different countries, uh, experts from 35 different countries, and um, we have translators obviously, it's very, very small teams like Oman, Saudi Arabia, and indeed from Ireland, or my country, uh, we have just 10 competitors at World Skills. In the last week, Lester just unexpectedly lost his father and so being over here and having none of your family and none of your support networks as well as having to do an intense competition like this to have one of your loved ones here with you means so much to Lester. Definitely an eye opener just coming over here, especially from New Zealand, a little old country, it's like, come here, it's a bit of a, yeah, pretty amazing. And I If you walk around the competition, young people must be inspired when they come here to see the best in the world in all these skills that are on show this week. I'm happy it's finished. <laughs> As a young person, I just enjoyed working in the garage with my dad, who was not a tradesman, but he had, he had some home ability. So I always enjoyed that and were encouraged by my parents to pursue my passion, which was woodworking. So when I got trained in it, and then I began working in industry and then moved into education, which is where I am now, passing it on to the next generation. I think it's wonderful. People often assume that some of these trades like cabinet making are a dying art or something like that. You can see that the trade is in good hands for the next generation and that fine artwork in terms of furniture and other things will be celebrated by the next generation. My family came over to support me and um, the whole World Skills Australia team are here to support me and um, the support up has been great for the whole thing. I couldn't have done it without them, uh, TAFE teachers and my family, so yeah, it's just been brilliant. My dad played with tools. My dad fixed everything. So I had that temptation to play. Kids today, I don't think, have enough toying with it. When they get to come here, see it, feel it, smell it, they get excited. And that excitement's what we need to get them into the trades. Because I don't want to keep fixing crap. I need to teach and help educate the kids young to get in and help me make it right.
representing our son Vinny. He's taken part in the World Skills. Oh, he's just so proud to be representing his country. And he said, even if just to, to have got that far means enough, I might as well have done it myself. I've been so nervous for the last few days, but it's brilliant. We're really proud of him. Every cycle of World Skills, the home nation is uh, given the opportunity to put a skill into the World Skills competition. This year, the home nation skill is stonemasonry. We're all incredibly proud of him, and the work he does is just, just can't even put it into words. Just, it's crazy. It's all over, it's the end of it.